Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to World of Tanks news episode. This is me, Riz Games here, and today what I have for you is something really special. We are going to be able to take our first look at new physics system that is going to be in the game in the future. This is not going to happen with patch 9.7 though, but hopefully with patch after it, or maybe, maybe it is going to take even longer, but still happy to take our first look at it. So keep in mind guys, first testing, first impressions, First time we see something like this, uh, first time they share something like this, so everything you're going to see still can change. I had to say that because I know people, when they see something new, something under testing, they automatically assume that this is going to be the end product, the end result. But this time guys, let's give them some feedback. What do you think? What could be different? What do you like? What do you dislike? Uh, let's give them some feedback and hopefully they are going to make some changes if needed. And one more thing quickly, if you hear my voice is a bit different than yes, I'm a bit sick, so sorry for my voice, but I just wanted to introduce you new physics system so badly. That said, let's take a look at what exactly is new. First thing, smoothness of movement. Suspension will start to work. It will be easier to fight on railway, especially for tanks with small elevation angle. Well, this is only one thing uh, how suspension is going to affect the game from now on. Uh, so it can help tanks with uh, small gun elevation, for example like AMX 1390, 50, 100 or basically any autoloader and other tanks as well, so pretty decent chains. The second thing is when you are jumping with your tank and landing two tracks hitting the ground at the same time, then the track surviving ratio is higher. Well actually the suspension surviving ratio is higher, because right now we like to say when you jump with your tank you got tracked but actually uh, you got suspensioned. So what we can learn from that is basically jump as much as you like, just learn how to fall. From now on more realistic tank behavior, because the dependence of stopping distance is affected by tank speed and the weight much more, finally, because simply light tank, heavy tank and medium tank can't stop in the same distance. And well, it is always fun to do something like this. Driving your tank off a cliff, turning it upside down, why the hell not? Why the hell not? Boom. Back to garage, next game. Right now the only concern I have about these chains, about this new physics is, uh, well, take a look at this clip. Take a look at the turn. Yeah, we were drifting with IS-3 while going with 36 km per hour. I'm not so sure about that. Well, yes, we are going to be able to drift with, even with IS-3, but not when we are going with 36 kph. Tank feels a bit too light for me, so with this new physics. So hopefully we are going to be able to change that, uh, but this is the only thing I found, the only bad thing I found. Because right now we have some new behaviors as well. For example, like sharp turnbacks, as you saw from the AMX 1390 clip, and as you are going to see from here as well. Sharp turnback. When the certain speed is set, a turnback with a handbrake leads to sharp chains in the trajectory of motion. And I really like that change because, well, firstly, you can do stuff like this in real life as well. Sharp turns, locking your tracks, yeah, it is doable. And the second thing is, it makes driving light tanks more fun. You have some new tricks you can use while driving with light tanks, and actually I'm pretty excited to see what kind of uh, new maneuvers you're able to pull off thanks to these new physics. But aside from sharp turnback, we also have quick turnback. Let's say while moving in the reverse direction. Turning rate increases significantly by using a handbrake during a turnback. So basically the handbrake is a keyword in here. Use that and you're able to pull off some really, really fancy maneuvers. With new physics it is possible to overcome the previously impassable objects, some of the objects, rubble, thumps and so on. So with light tanks for example you are able to climb into some pretty ridiculous places and positions. So be creative. They increase the influence of soil on the behavior of tank when turning, ramming or doing new turnback maneuvers new graphical spin effect and uh, from now on apparently you are able to turn enemy tank over <laughs> which is pretty nice you are going to be able to turn uh, enemy light tanks over in your E100 for example not bad 
the opportunity to turn enemy tank into collision. Right now we have something like this as well, if you ram enemy tank you are able to turn him, you, you are able to move him, but uh, from now on the width and the speed are going to be able to affect the outcome more. So guys, these are new physics that are going to be here soon, hopefully. I actually like to see that because something fresh, something new for World of Tanks is always refreshing and uh, I like it. I don't know, more realistic tank behavior. It needs some tuning, yes, and I said my concerns as well in this video. So what do you think? Do you like it? What you like? What you don't like? Comment section is for that information and hopefully someone is going to read that and is going to make some changes if needed. But time for some other news as well. Bystraven 7 will bring us some new HD models. Right now we know that ELC MX is going to be HD, E100, a reworked E100 HD model, because as we know E100 was HD in Hybrid 6 test server as well. Uh, but hopefully now it is ready. Uh, Jack the Banzer E100, IS4 and T26 E4. I'm actually pretty eager to see IS4's HD model because it is pretty nice looking tank right now but in HD a lot of different objects on the tank so I believe it is going to be pretty nice. It was confirmed that the issue of server giving you the same map over and over again is existing. Well I believe we all know the problem when you get Malinovka 10 times in a row for example uh, but more than that it is intentional. It serves to limit the load on the server it is not possible to fix. So basically how I understand is uh, when, let's say, in rush hour, a lot of players are online, server or the system is struggling, is trying to spread out the load and that's why sometimes you're going to get some lower requirement maps in a row, many times in a row. Well, this is just how I understand it is, uh, but um, I'd rather take the same map over and over again than no map, if you know what I mean. When servers are down, then there are no maps for any of us. And talking about maps, a lot of players actually have asked for a system where you can choose the maps you want to play on. But the answer for that is pretty simple. It is not possible to choose a map you want to play because the matchmaking system wouldn't be able to handle it. Simple as it is. In my opinion, it would be fun, yes, for a while, for a couple of games, but I actually like the surprising element which map is it going to be and so on, because for some tanks uh, some maps really suck, for example like artillery, city map sucks, uh, but Malinovka is like godlike map for artillery and uh, so on, so the surprising element is, in my humble opinion, 10 times better. But now a few words about tier 10 mouse and tier 9 mouse. If you don't know what Mausen is, or Mausen, I actually don't know how you have to pronounce it, but uh, it is going to be new tier 9 vehicle. One tank before T Mighty Mouse. And yes, it is going to replace VK4502B. It should have one more set of testing, one more set of rebalancing before they are going to add it to the public test. And yes, this tank is going to be really, really hard tank to penetrate. Because right now it is completely immune to the heat. Thanks to the skirts, thanks to the treads and thanks to the hull armor. So yes, <laughs> they have to balance it a little bit more. But uh, as much as I know, anyone who has VK4502 b is going to get this tank for free anyways. So yeah, let's get grinding, because VK4502 b is a really strong tank as well. Really strong tank. But the Mighty Mouse won't be buffed despite its tier 9 version coming out, so no 15cm gun for the mouse. Uh, well, basically this is the only, the only thing you can buff on mouse. It has really strong armor, for its armor it has pretty decent speed. Yeah, it is slow, but well, when you're moving a house you can't move it like 15 km per hour, yes? No? Uh, so basically to sum it up, adding a 15cm gun to the mouse would make this tank so unbalanced it is not even funny. It would make E100 look like a wimp, like a muppet, because it would have the same gun but uh, much much more armor. Because Mouse is still really really strong tank and really hard to penetrate sometimes, even with premium shots. So yeah, let's leave it as it is. But I believe this is it guys, today's World of Thanks news episode. You have heard my opinion, now it is time to share your opinion. I hope you enjoyed, take care and bye.